This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're going to talk about leveling skills. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've covered this on stream a little bit, but we're going to go a little more in depth for this video on how you can easily level your skills. Now, of course, just playing the game, you're going to level them over time doing whatever you do. But there are situations where you may just want to get a few levels really quickly. Like maybe you just died, you lost a bunch of levels in jump or run, and you want to get those back as quick as possible. Well, one of the ways to get those back is to regen your stamina as fast as possible because the faster you regen your stamina, the quicker you can do said skill so that you can rinse and repeat that skill quickly again in order to level up. So one of the ways that we can do that, you're going to find a rock. I'm going to show you something here. We're essentially going to make a training dojo uh, or a training building, whatever you want to call it. You're going to find a nice rock like this. You're going to level out around the rock and then you're going to build around the rock like I have done over here. So we're going to go in here. You can see I have a rock. I have a fireplace and chimney, which is super important. Now, this is a little trick that we just learned on stream earlier today. If you have the core wood, you can actually put a campfire on top of the core wood, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can just simply put a hole in the ground or hole in your floor and put your campfire there. Make sure you vent your smoke. Then we want to have our uh, workbench so we can run repairs easily. And then the other thing we want is a platform just like this. So this is a very specific way we have this. And it's because if you don't do it like this, you can have some camera issues. So we're just going to delete it. And I'm going to show you real quick. So if you put it right here at the snap point, when I show you what we're going to do, you're going to have camera issues. What you want to do is hold down shift and just move it ever so slightly above that snap point like so. That way, when we jump, which this is our jump training area, our head does not clip through. We actually bounce off of it. And we'll get into why this is important here in a second. So why is all of this inside and set up like this? Well, it's set up like this because if you take a look here at our buffs, we have the resting buff up here, and then we also have the rest dead buff as well. These two buffs combine, if we take a look at what those buffs give us, we end up with a 400% stamina regen, which allows us to quickly spam an ability, get our stamina back so that we can spam the ability again. Now, you can train pretty much everything on a rock uh, that involves you hitting something. So we can set here with the axis, and if we come over here and we take a look at my skills, you can see where my level is right now uh, with axes. So if I just whack at the rock for a few minutes, Okay, we just spent pretty much our whole stamina bar and we come back here, you can see that they've drastically went up. But the important thing is, is if you watch, you can see how quickly my stamina regens once I am done. So let's stop. Look at that. Look how quick it regens. It's crazy fast, which allows me to essentially spam my ability. Now, if I wanted to, I could time it with a macro or just sitting here watching a show in my other monitor or whatever, and you can essentially never run out of stamina and level that way. Now I know that's super boring and you're probably sitting there, why don't I just play the game? Yes, it is super boring. This isn't about whether or not it's entertaining to do, this is about speed. And this is one of the fastest ways you can level in this game because it regens your stamina so incredibly fast to allow you to spend the stamina again because that's part of leveling many of these skills. They won't level, well, a lot of the ones for hitting things won't level unless you're one, hitting something, and two, spending stamina. And I know that because if I run my stamina all the way down and I continue to hit, I'm still hitting the object, but I'm not spending any more stamina, so I won't gain any skill. Same thing goes with jumping. Now, I got I want to before we get into jumping, I want to quickly explain that you want to use food that's going to give you as much stamina as possible. So, wherever whatever stage you're at in the game does not matter. 
highlight over your food, look at the stamina numbers, and pick the combo that has the highest amount of stamina. Okay, so now that you know all that, let's take a look at jumping. Now, this platform is super, super handy because we can level a bunch of things really quickly with this platform. If you just want to jump, you just jump. Now, why are we doing this? Why are we retarding the jump? We're doing that on purpose because that's faster. If we jump, we spend more time in the air. Look at all that time we're spending in the air before we can jump again. We're spending so much time in the air, by the time we land, we pretty much regen our stamina. But if we're here under this, it stops our jump. So we can say here, we can spam the space bar really quick. Look at that, we just gained a level. Really quick and gain levels. The other thing that we can do is we can also train sprinting at the same time. So if you take a look here, you can see my jump is at eight and then our sprinting or our run is at six. You can see where they are right there. We're gonna level anyway as I'm doing this. So what you're gonna do is angle your camera back. You're gonna run into the wall and as you're running, you're just gonna jump and you're gonna spend stamina. Look at that, there goes jump and then we're gonna let our stamina regen quickly and then we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna sprint into the wall and then we're gonna jump. And if we go back here and look, Run levels are really slow. You can see run has one up. We're almost to another level in run. So we just continue to run and jump. So there's our jumping and there's our running. So you can level really quickly like that. And in this area here, you can level pretty much anything. You just need to be a little creative in some situations. So for example, bows, you can level bows in here. You don't really need to be creative. Shoot your rock. The rock is your training dummy. The rock is your friend. It will take all kinds of abuse and allow you to train many skills. Now, granted, you're gonna waste arrows, but just make wooden arrows. They're super cheap, super easy to get. You can make tons of them and you can easily level your bows. So you can see here, we're spending a ton of stamina and let's say that's the end of our stamina bar. We stop, we reload our stamina, we can immediately go again. Now, what about pickaxes and stuff like that? Well, you can level your pickaxe here as well. All you have to do is attack your structure. So I advise before doing that, just stack a bunch of floor pieces so we can just stack them up here like so because that way, if we break them, we don't have to stop for repairs. We don't have to worry about repairs for a period of time. We can just go hard because we're doing damage to the top of the structure here and we will eventually gain a level in pickaxes. We're also blowing a ton of stamina. Now you're probably gonna tear through these pretty quick. You can see we've already damaged this one pretty well, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. That's why we stack them. The other good thing about this is, once you destroy them, you will get the resources back so you can just turn around and stack them again. There are some things that you can't level in this situation, like you can level your axes, but you won't level the tree chopping. So if you take a look here, the wood cutting, you actually have to cut trees to do that. So that's one that's gonna be difficult to level in here, but you can do running, you can do axes. Blocking is another one that's gonna be relatively difficult because you need to actually be hit. But it is possible to do that one outside of here, relatively easy. You can find something like a boar or a gray dwarf and just don't kill them. Let them continue to attack you and there's practice blocking. Okay, so let's talk about swimming. First off, you don't have to make a structure look as terrible as I've made this one here. I originally thought that we could put a campfire in here and get the same buff as we got in the other one, but then I realized you don't really need it for the way we are going to level swimming. So you do, however, wanna make sure your structure goes down into the water just to the point where when the waves come in, or go out, you are standing, and when they come in, you are swimming. And if we take a look out here, we'll go out here so you can see just about how deep I have this thing. And then every now and then, the water will come through and then go up over it. See how it like just touches and goes up over it? There we go. So when you're placing the structure, what I did is I went to the edge here, found about where I was going like this. See how I float up? And then I go back down and then I put a pillar there so that I knew to mark it. So I know that it's about right there. So I'm going to wait till the waves calm down a little bit. And I know I was about right here. And then you can build your structure off of that just like that. 
So then we can go through and we can build the structure. And the other good thing is building it with a pillar like that means that if you don't get it just right, it's easy enough to make adjustments to this bottom floor. So you can see how I have it here now that the waves have gone down so I can stand right here. I'm kind of in the water. The waves come in. I'm swimming. I'm not swimming. Now, the reason we do this is because when we're not swimming, we're regenerating stamina. So when we're just standing here, but when the waves come in, we're not actually moving. And we'll talk about that in a second. So I want you to take a look at my swim. So here's where my swim's at right now. Now, you don't actually gain swim experience unless you are moving so when the waves come just come in and i float nothing happens i need to be moving and we can do that very easy just by hitting q q is your auto run key so we're going to auto run into the wall and then we can legit just walk away. You can do this before you go to bed, go grab a bite to eat, have your morning coffee, whatever you wanna do. But you can see we spend a little stamina, we swim a little, it drops us back down, and then we gain that stamina back. We're continuing to walk, but then that doesn't really do anything. We really only get the experience when the waves come in. And I got some really wonky waves right now. Ideally, what you want is a nice, smooth wave, uh, gentle coming in and rocking in and out just enough to kind of lift you, drop you, lift you, drop you. Um, uh, we got some serious waves right now, um, so I don't know what's going on, but it's enough that you get the idea of what's going to happen. So here we go. Another bunch of waves. I'm getting some swim experience. I just leveled and now I'm going back to run again. So you could legit AFK and level your swimming to 100 with this technique. Super, super easy. If I ever find a way to do the other ones like that without setting up a external program to run a macro, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be showing you all that one. But right now, swimming is the only one I can figure out how to auto level because like even if you were to try to do sprinting, so if you hit Q and you weigh down your shift key, you're eventually going to run out of steps stamina and because you're not spending stamina you won't gain any experience okay well that's pretty much it for this one this was just a short sweet one i just wanted to show you all how you could level your skills relatively fast for whatever reason maybe you're just starting out a new character maybe you've died a couple of times and like i said i know it may not be the most entertaining going out and fighting things is a lot more fun but you know it's a good way to level quickly and it does and will level you faster than just being out doing whatever because you have very little downtime. All right, if you found this video helpful, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I put out other Valheim videos. And I don't just cover Valheim, I cover all kinds of different games. So you never know when I'm going to be making guides for a game that you may be playing. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I wanna give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.